Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick review over the Antonosti's Workshops uh, forward base that I've recently received because they are some fantastic, fantastic terrain, uh, predominantly for Infinity, but any sci-fi game will look absolutely stunning on this sort of table. So I'm gonna go through a little bit about them and uh, show them off to you guys. Forward base is a beautiful, beautiful set of terrain done by Antonosity's workshop. They originally did um, a Kickstarter that started it all um, and they looked a little bit different to what they do now and there were some vast improvements which I'll do some comparisons to. So the benefit and I think the real enjoyment about these kits is that these were the first ever people that made pre-painted pre terrain for Infinity. Um, a lot of other companies have done since, but none are quite as beautiful. And as you can see, it's a really stunning and really striking um, piece of terrain that I really, really like. The benefit, I suppose, of these over other terrain that has completed uh, and it comes pre-painted is that the guys that make this actually um, use a roller to pre-paint it for you. Um, and they do it twice. So other companies at the moment use spray guns uh, to paint the terrain and they look good. But the benefit of using the roller is that you don't actually see the fibers uh, in the MDF that you get or the HDF. Also you get this beautiful amounts of uh, acrylic that go alongside for little lights, uh, black which is very striking against it. And I'll show you guys inside. You've got working doors that move. Um, and they're just, just fantastic to be honest. And each set is slightly individual, so you've got a range of different um, buildings to sort of put on the table. So I really, really like it. Now, the only thing that doesn't come pre-painted is that you actually get some doors to put on. Um, that's resin that you can use to stick on, and you also get some pre-painted photo uh, that you can stick on to look like consoles on the outside. So. I haven't put these on yet because I'm going to airbrush them so they're all done nice and quick because I don't want to ruin it. Um, on average it's taken me about three hours to build a building which is a long time and I think I've got 12 which gives me a full table but of multiple levels as well. So the Ford base deal is a really really good one. Um, if you're not a fan of the striking orange they also do a Undertown City which is a nice grey. Uh, with lots of difference inside, lots of different variations of buildings such as shops uh, and pubs and stuff like that. Now one of the interesting designs about this is that you can see that it's curved. Now the first generation of designs, what that meant was that you could see around the corners which for infinity when you need uh, silhouette cover isn't fantastic. Um, so the new ones are slightly raised up uh, if you can see on these pegs. Uh, pegs? I don't know what to call them, structures of some kind, which means that underneath uh, you've got total line of uh, blocking line of sight, which is really nice, uh, which I really, really like. So when you first open the box, you get instructions with everything, which is good because they're not the easiest of buildings to figure out where things go. And I suppose what's really important for everyone to understand is when you first get them, um, I'll try and open some of this up for you. Um, it's probably easier to show with the orange. I absolutely crapped it thinking that mine hadn't been painted properly. So you can see they're quite muted, muted colours, muted tones. Now this is actually the orange and what you need to do is peel back as a protective paper layer and you want to do that with your finger um, as opposed to a tool so that you don't scratch the paint underneath. But when you do it, you've got all that amazing colour underneath. So don't panic when you first open the box like I did because that was really, really scary um, thinking that you know, this fantastic kit was uh, ruined and not painted properly. Um, they come quite well packaged. You've got bubble wrap to protect everything. Um, and I think when you store them, you'd probably want to use bubble wrap as well. Uh, again, you've got the resin that you would need to paint. And then it comes with acrylic. Uh, so the acrylic can go on the outside and the windows. And I suppose when you're pushing out these struts, one of the things that I did find is that you just want to be slightly careful because you can snap them, um, but they're quite easy to repair if you do. I think I've snapped 
uh, one or two on the four buildings that I've already completed. Um, and you might want to give it a slight wipe. Um, I've been using PVA to put all mine together, which seems to be holding quite well, and it gives it enough time that uh, if I make a mistake, I can pull it back apart because you really do need to follow the order that they uh, describe in the instructions because some bits won't fit in otherwise. Um, I suppose also the other benefit of using PVA glue is that when you start putting in the acrylic is that it's not going to go misty when it dries. Um, so I've just been using an old paintbrush and uh, loads of PVA, just child's PVA from a craft store. Um, I would really, really recommend getting them. Um, what's also nice is that each building is labelled, so um, it defines what it is, sort of like Habitat 4, and it makes them all slightly individual, despite uh, already having like different sizes and different um, different looks. So I'm looking forward to getting them done, um, and I'll show you some of the other bits that Antonosity's Workshop sent me, um, because there are lots of other really cool accessories that go alongside it. Now, there are two key differences when you're looking at the difference between Ford Base version 1 and Ford Base version 2. And the first is that these stairs also go up to the doors, um, mainly because it's raised off the ground unlike the other one was, but they are absolutely beautiful because you've got acrylic steps um, and it just really finishes them off. The second thing that makes it different is that if you're going to stack your buildings, they've made some really nice corridors um, so there's long and short to put the two together and it just gives you a lot more uh, flexibility in terms of moving across buildings so that's quite nice for some missions but also it gives you line of sight blocking at different levels so quite nice if you're running a big tag up um, and as you can see from the picture they're big so they they're, do block quite a considerable amount. Now some of the other things that you can buy to customize it a little bit more and make it slightly different is uh, they've released these forward base cargo lifts um, which uh, just are really nice and I suppose if a tag or a motorcycle can't get up some stairs you've got something that will be able to get them up uh, provides a little bit of different color and then finally instead of walls you've got these windbreakers um, I think these are quite nice I'm not sure if I like them that much because they've got the gaps in between. However, I think they are quite nice and different and you can fill a considerable amount of the the, uh, the table up. So I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys, but definitely check out some of their products because there are a vast range of stuff that I haven't even got to show you. Um, some of these are pre-painted faction containers um, and also the Undertown City, which is very, very nice. So if you've got, uh, it sounds like it's a lot of money because I think it comes in at just over 300 pounds for an entire table. However, it is stunning, it is absolutely stunning, and it requires a lot less work because it's pre-painted um, and it's considerable to some of the other products out there. So it's definitely a centerpiece table for a tournament or for your own. It's far, far better than the one I've been using for a long time. And uh, I would highly encourage you guys to go and check it out because everyone's gonna be asking you where you've got that table from. So send me some pictures of what you're currently working on in terms of table and terrain wise. Show me your full tables and the best ones that you've played on and uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon.